Good morning! It's our third day in Singapore today. This is part 2 of our Singapore 2022 vlog. If you want to know what we did for our first two days, the link is in the description box. For our breakfast today, we ate at Starbucks. Here's a glimpse of what Starbucks looks like in Singapore. They have plant-based options in the menu, and they also have breakfast sets for only 8 to 9 Singapore dollars, which is really worth it. They also have mooncakes here. We tried the chocolate chocachino and the breakfast sets of course. Here you can see the chicken ham and cheese sandwich and the egg mayo and cheese croissant. For this morning, we will go to River Wonder. We took the downtown line from Ben Coolin to McPherson. From there, we changed to the circle line to go to Bishan where we changed to the north-south line to go to Patib. In Katib, we rode a bus going to River Wonder. This is also where the Singapore Zoo and Night Safari is. We went to River Wonder since our friend suggested it to be the most worth it among the three. When you enter, there is a food court where you can have your lunch first. So this is the entrance to River Wonder. It's a really big place and it will probably take you three hours to, if you include the additional boat ride for 5 Singaporean dollars. This is just a glimpse of what you can see inside the River Wonder. For the full video, we did a separate video on this since the tour is quite long. You will see different kinds of fishes, monkeys, pandas, and more. Kindly check out the separate video we will post for the full tour of the River Wonder including the Amazon River Quest. Now we are heading back to Katib via the bus again. In Katib station, there is a restaurant which serves affordable meals. It's actually the cheapest meal we have ever found for as low as 3 Singaporean dollars. After eating, we headed to Boogies Plus. This is what Boogies Plus Mall looks like. They also have Sephora here again. And even Watsons. From Boogies, we headed to Little India via the downtown line. From there, we changed to the Northeast line to the Clark Key. Here we are at another mall called Clark Lee Central. Here's a glimpse of the mall. 
We didn't go around much. We went to the river promenade. Here you can enjoy restaurants at night with good music. We tried this restaurant called Thaikun which sells Thailand food. Here's what the menu looks like. Afterwards, we went back to the hotel and that is the end of our third day. Good morning! It's our fourth day in Singapore. As you can see, we're still both sleepy but we tried to wake up early today because we wanted to arrive in Gardens by the Bay early. Today, we ordered the breakfast sets again. This time, we ordered the rosemary chicken and a mental cheese croissant and the turkey ham and triple cheese toast. All the breakfast sets comes with a brewed coffee by the way. Our three day tourist pass ends today, so we top up 15 Singaporean dollars. Hi, so it's our fourth day, and kahailan namin sa Starbucks. Now we're going back to the hotel, and then tapo tayo na gardens by the bay. We headed over to the Marina Bay Sands, which is near where the gardens by the bay is. Here are the admission ticket prices if you buy on the spot. We were supposed to go to the Cloud Forest and Flower Dome. Unfortunately, during our time, the Flower Dome was closed. There was light rain during our visit, but thankfully it was tolerable. The cloud forest itself is covered so you don't have to worry if it rains. As you can see here, the standard rate is 28 Singaporean dollars for an adult versus 26 dollars when you buy from Changi Recommends. There is also Shake Shack here outside the entrance. Now we're headed to the Cloud Forest. The fountain looks so beautiful. It's way bigger than it looks from the video and our video does not do it justice. It's breathtaking and relaxing just to look at it. You can walk around the forest and even go up around the waterfalls.
We headed to the Lost World, which is in level 7. Be careful if you're in this level since, well, you can see how dangerous it could be if you're not careful. When you go down to level 3, you will see a gallery filled with fun trivias about plants. Now we're heading out of the cloud forest. Outside you will see more stores where you can buy food. Of course, our trip would not be complete if we did not visit the Merlion. So we headed over to the Marina Bay and walked towards the Merlion. Before we visited the Merlion, we had our lunch first in this restaurant called Isho Izakaya, which is located at the Marina Bay. Here's what the menu looks like. The staff recommended the teriyaki tori don set and that's what I ordered for myself, while Mark ordered the ten don set.
The sets come with an appetizer, miso soup, and dessert. We also ordered the Earl Grey Cheesecake. This was said to be air flown from Japan itself. It's actually really yummy, it's moist, and you can taste the Earl Grey without being too sweet. Our total bill was around 55 Singaporean dollars. After that, we went outside to see the Merlion. It's not too crowded and we were still able to take good pictures. We then went to the Orchard Road. There are a lot of good malls here if you want to shop. That is the Takashimaya Mall and that is the Paraton Mall. We also tried this ice cream sandwich stand in front of Takashimaya Mall. There are a lot of yummy flavors and you can choose your base. We bought the peppermint and tutti frutti flavors. Here's a glimpse of the Takashimaya Mall inside. We didn't stay that long since we wanted to check out other malls. Now we're at the Iron Orchard Mall, which probably is the most high-end of all the malls we visited. After that, we had dinner at Body Hoagies Cafe and Grill, which was just near our hotel. Here's what the menu looks like. Here is what we ordered, the fish and chips, the grilled pepper chicken, and we got the free grilled chicken. After eating, we went to Suntec City and finally, after searching for so long, Mark finally bought this pair. 
Then we went to Boogie Street and tried this ice cream, which cost only one Singaporean dollar. After that, we went back to the hotel and that is the end of our fourth day. Good morning! It's our last day in Singapore today. We're on our way to Jewel Changi Airport and we rented a van from Kluk. Here's the Jewel Changi Airport. Since we arrived there early, we had time to check out the stores and restaurants inside. The Jewel Changi Airport itself looks like a mall, and you can do your last minute shopping here for Pasalubong. First thing we did was to have brunch. We ordered treasure chicken from this restaurant. We also ordered our childhood A&W root beer float. We also bought Pasalubong from Bengo One Solo. The best sellers here are the peanut butter and the macadamia cookies. Then here is the beautiful Jewel Changi Airport Rain Vortex. This opens at around 11 a.m. in the morning and see how beautiful it is. At the airport, we got our tax refund from the stuff we bought in the malls. And that's it guys! Thank you for watching our video! Hope you enjoyed it! See you on our next vlog! Bye! Bye.